This is hard. So, oh, we've made it to the top. Okay. Wow. Three euros. This is worth paying three euros for. Hello and good morning to today. Uh, it's day number two and I'm just leaving the hotel. And wow, it's so different in the, uh, in the morning. You know, I can actually see what the hotel looks like, uh, the square where it's based. Let's get out of here and uh, see what the day brings. Oh, we've uh, come out of the hotel and we're gonna go check out a particular uh, castle. The castle is an absolutely uh, stunning castle. Let's uh, show you what I'm looking at. That is the castle that we are going to check out. It's got a nice little uh, run to it. Uh, I think there is a museum at the top of the castle. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, the castle does look absolutely stunning. Let's go and have a, uh, a look. Uh, I've not had breakfast yet. Um, I'm planned to go and have breakfast after I've uh, wandered around the, uh, the castle, as it were. It's uh, a massive, massive structure. Uh, I think some of it was actually uh, originally built, I'll put on the screen, just here when it was rebuilt. And then what I'll do is uh, give you some information as we uh, wander around, but that looks impressive, look at that. As soon as you get into the castle hall, um, you come in and there's a reception desk here and the next to the reception desk you can get a, um, a guide sticking your earphones and get a guide of all the uh, paints that here. But this is a huge, huge uh, reception room. Now I've actually never read too much into paintings, however, just been reading the information on here, you can see this character here stabbing the devil which is quite um, important. You see another character here bringing a lily, which is sort of a sign of peace, but then his hand is hidden away here. That means separate different things. And to tell who actually um, painted it, you can look at the background and the relevance of it now. This painting was done by, I'll put on the screen who it was done by in a moment. Okay, so everything that we've seen so far was on the uh, on the first floor, and now what I'm doing is I'm going up a nice little stairwell um, up to the I think it's the second floor, and hopefully there'll be more stuff to see up here. Um, the museum's got so much to see. Um, and you can see where there's a lot of religious reference to it as well. So I'm sort of enjoying seeing all the different things. Um, there's things going back, you know, to the first century, um, paintings, sculptures, the whole shebang, um, all the way up to uh, almost modern times. But flicking through the list, let's see how we get on. Okay, so I'm just walking out of the castle now. Um, what was my thoughts? Uh, I'll be really brief and quick as I can. I thought the castle was quite fun exciting there was lots of different relics in there um, lots of different paintings so that uh, was my bit of history um, the castle was huge really really nice area the one thing that I didn't have is some food I would have loved to have had a, a snack in there but overall um, I've spent about let's have a look I've spent about two hours in there no one and a half two hours wandering around in there it's been a good good morning in there it cost me 12 euros um, and you know there's lots of shops around here so I'm gonna go get a bite to eat just wandering around and uh, found a little fruit market and uh, oh, hold on a minute what I'm gonna do in the fruit market is I'm gonna have my breakfast fruit and some bananas so that's exactly what I'm doing while I wait while I make my way down to the uh, to cathedral and stuff so uh, just having a little wander around um, it's really, really colourful and I'm convinced I was walking this way at night yesterday and it was no way 
anything like this. Obviously, it's woke up in the morning. Uh, people have got businesses run, so they've all come out. We've got everything from green grocers. And I think there's a fish market here somewhere. Um, I'm not sure where, but I'm really convinced that there is. But this is just walking through the, uh, the market. This must be the, uh, the fish market that I can see. I'll, uh, I'll quickly show it you. Okay, so now I'm at the main square. I will put the name of the main square underneath so you can see what the main square is. At the main square there is this amazing fountain here and it has the, um, the elephant made of a lava. Um, the other thing that we have at this main square is the cathedral. Again, the cathedral is an absolutely stunning building. Um, we've got a couple of other amazing buildings just around me. So I was having a quick uh, walk and what I've decided to do is go for a, uh, a bus tour. And uh, it's uh, one of these little bus tickets. And it's only going to cost me five euros and I'm told it's last 40 minutes. So as far as I'm concerned, that is what I call value for money. <laughs> Okay, so I've uh, been wandering around Catania, seen loads of nice places, just had a pizza. When in Italy have pizza? Okay, that was really bad of me. So I've had a pizza. Now all I'm doing is uh, I'm just investigating where the bus station is because tomorrow I'm gonna be climbing Mount Etna. You thought it was then? No, that was me. So I've got to find out where the bus station is. Um, let's believe there's only one bus that goes quarter past eight in the morning. If you miss it, it's a tough look. You ain't getting there. So I've got to work out where that is, buy my ticket, um, so I'm ready to roll. The main purpose of coming to Italy, Sicily, was to climb Mount Etna, the most active volcano in Europe. So I'm in the garden of the city now. Uh, it's garden something, believe me, I'll put on the screen what it is. But I've just come in. I mean, look at that. A little bit cloudy, but I'm not going to moan. I'm not going to complain. And there's a little bit here. A little uh, grassy patterny thing here. So I'm going to go up and investigate what that thing is up there. So I've just come to the top of the garden now and it opens up to uh, what looks like an absolutely massive square. Uh, I can hear in the background sounds of two cars and motorbikes flying. Uh, so that thing that I was going to investigate, there we go. It's a little seating area there. So I've come up just behind me and it opens up here. I imagine there's going to be a really good view in a minute, which uh, I'm going to go and grab.
Warren Street and I've just paid three euros to go up and get the panoramic view from the dome. Um, this is just me on the way up. Clearly there's a lot of circular This is hard, I'm sorry. Oh, we've made it to the top. Okay. Wow. Three euros, this is worth paying three euros for. So I must be at the top of the monastery now. Oh, wow. Look at that. That view is freaking amazing. Oh, wow. That's the dome there, hold on. what was once the Roman theatre in Catania. This goes round and round and round. I've not got the exact dates of when this was uh, made. Let's go. It was an incredibly long day because I'd walked around the whole of Catania on my own, looked at absolutely almost everything there was to see. I decided just to get a bite to eat, go home and relax because tomorrow was going to be a tough day 